Hello everybody, it's Vegan Latinas for Life on YouTube and Facebook. And I'm just doing a quick video to let you know what I'm having for breakfast today. Today is the 8th of August, 2016, and it's Monday. I took my second grader to school already. Uh, I have the car getting oil change right now, and I'm home having breakfast. Keeping it simple, just having delicious mango I got at the Asian store. They have the most largest mangoes ever at a good deal. And um, compared to Costco and your normal uh, neighborhood supermarkets, the Asian stores seem to be winning with the big mangoes. And they're delicious. And um, also, um, I have some tree strawberries that um, you can't buy at stores, but I would recommend you look them up online. Tree strawberries, you can find them on the trees in your, <clears throat> I don't know, in your neighborhood, but they're in my neighborhood. And then I also have... Um, these uh this bottle here i have a few of them i i refill them i got them originally in roseville from a raw vegan restaurant um and they have they do business with wholehearted juicery um in roseville area california and so they supply them with their cold pressed juices which are phenomenally delicious but I keep the bottles and I refill them with the suja and I fill them all the way till they're overflowing so I can airtight close them and keep them in the fridge because I don't drink 50 ounces every day. This whole thing is about 50 ounces from Costco um, and they're on sale right now. So um, in order to not oxidize the, the juice so it, it retains as much nutrients as possible, I airtight them in these bottles. So... I already started drinking it, but anyways, so just a little tip if you want to uh, be, uh, you know, savvy with saving money, um, get these big bottles from a wholesale at Costco, and then you can just fill these bottles up, and then I have some smaller ones that are only 8 ounces that I get from another juicery here locally when I buy their juices, I hold on to the bottles, so I'm collecting them, and because um, I'm trying to just drink 8 ounces, which is half of this, so um, eight ounces every hour. Um, I guess some of the most knowledgeable plant-based doctors um, uh, have said that that's the most absorption that can happen within, you know, the hour. I don't, I don't, I haven't researched it enough, but I'm willing to try it. So every hour, um, when I'm in the mornings, maybe uh, uh, two, three, eight ounces, one every hour in the morning um, of the green juice is a good idea. So, um, along with a delicious breakfast, usually you want to have your lemon water like I do in the morning. That's what I do. And then I have my green juice. Um, a lot of uh, nutritionists that are into these uh, juice juicing and whole foods, plant-based diets, they talk about uh, alkalizing your body with the lemon water in the morning and then having your green juice after. And then, um, of course, eating your nutritious breakfast. So... Um, that's all I got for you for Vegan Latinas for Life. Um, these tree stories are delicious, in case you're wondering. Um, I'll, they're really, uh, I'll poke into it. There you go. It's like pudding in there, and it's really delicious. The deer eat out, out here. <laughs> deer think these are candy. So do I now. So um, they're a treat when I, my husband brings them home. It's a love gift he brings me. So I've really been enjoying them because there's a lot of uh, growing out here but they take a while to um, actually ripen do some research you might be fascinated by these tree strawberries nothing like a regular strawberry I'll tell you that much they they're sweet on the inside like a pudding when they're ready and I'll not see a little crunchy so um, just three things I want to remind you about my channel uh, we bring three things together here the love for God we accept Jesus as our Savior here in our family and we want to share the health journey that we've been on because of, you know, loving God and accepting Jesus as our Savior. I can never deny the Lord and all the blessings He's provided our family. So all the beautiful things He's done for us in our lives would all be in vain if I didn't share my testimony with you guys and, and take you along for the ride. So that's number one. Number two is the love for health. So we run Christian Vegan Fitness on YouTube. God put it on my heart to start. God guides it. So feel free to join if you haven't already. And three, uh, the love and compassion for all sentient beings, of course. So we're all going to be vegan in heaven. So might as well get an early start now. Like my daughter says, be a hero, go vegan. 
and being vegan is not just what you eat, it's a whole lifestyle. Like I said, we're here to share it with you. We were alone when we started our journey. We don't want you to be alone. So and if you want to follow us on Facebook group or begin letting us for life on Facebook or comment here, um, be more than glad to respond and, and uh, do this together. Mm -hmm. Life is short compared to the eternity we're going to have with Lord in heaven one day. So let's make the best of it here and impact everybody in a healthy, wonderful, spiritual way. So, all right. Remember, God loves you. We love you. Stay encouraged, stay motivated, and stay hydrated. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.